Valor Canada, a not-for-profit organization whose goal is to educate young Canadians about our shared military heritage by developing and providing learning opportunities designed to foster a deeper understanding of who we are as individuals, citizens, and as a nation. The freedoms that we cherish today and our remembrance of the sacrifices and many lives lost in support of those freedoms is of utmost importance at Valor Canada. The General Sir Arthur Currie Award, named after the first commander of the Canadian Corps of the First World War, is being awarded to Mr. George Brookman for his outstanding contributions in honouring and celebrating the involvement of Calgary and the Canadian military, along with his integral part in connecting the Calgary Stampede with Canada's rich military heritage. George is a, George is a great guy. George is probably one of the best Canadians I know. George will do anything for Canada. My connection with the military is I spent 43 years in it. He did not have a background in the military, none at all. The, the military can't blow their own horn. So you don't, you don't see military guys out there saying, the military is really great, the military is really great, the military is really great, and give us money. They can't do that. That's blowing their own horn because it, it would, they're paid by taxes. And people say, well, we already pay you. You're already coming out of my pocket. So if you want to build, if you want to uh, recognize the military through Valor Canada or through MFRC or something else that is blowing the horn in the military, doing a great job fighting fires or whatever it might be, that's the way to do it. Yeah, the Stampede and the Armed Forces have long had a really good connection. It's kind of what led him to, 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 with this natural affinity for the Field of Crosses and Breakfast on the Bridge. He would have no difficulty saying yes to taking those roles on and raising money for them and getting uh, totally enthusiastic about selling those. The Stampede is um, the best opportunity that we have in this country to enhance our brand as the Armed Forces and to enhance our reputation. And it's a great opportunity for us to, to recruit. Calgary is the best place for us to display um, our, our, ourselves, put ourselves on display, uh, enhance our reputation and attract recruits. Well, as a parent of two boys who are in uh, middle and junior high, middle school and junior high, uh, I am very passionate about ensuring that Canada's youth understand their own military history. And so my involvement with the Field of Crosses Memorial Project is one way that I'm able to engage with a lot of youth and, uh, and share, the, share the message of importance of remembrance. Now he's been in the air, he's been on all our ships, He's been to exercises with the Army. He knows everything about the Army now. And, and so, so they should. I mean, this is a, a, gra a show of gratitude to him for what he does at Stampede and elsewhere when the commander of the Air Force takes him up in a jet. You know, it was about bringing people together, about creating great experiences, about helping young people, helping young Canadians. Um, about you know promoting Calgary as, as a destination um, you know it, it supported the economy he says probably one of the greatest experience of his life was was working with the Calgary Stampede he loved it we got the helicopter back so we'd love to have some jets at the start of the parade so we got the jets at the start of the parade along just a great way for for the for the armed forces to connect with citizens we get a, a, a warmer welcome in Stampede at, at, at the Stampede in Calgary than we do anywhere else uh, in the country he is uh, unlike anybody else I've ever met it's not just about fundraising it's about bringing bringing community together bringing different uh, stakeholders together and I think what George has done through through his work with the Calgary MFRC through his work with the Field of Crosses and everything else that he's done in between he has brought he has brought the business community closer to the military and vice versa and I think that that has created a shared understanding that will that will absolutely help um, with things like recruitment but also just um, generally to raise and elevate uh, the sense of um, pride in our military and also the amount people remember uh, those who have, have served and sacrificed for us. I would say that George really embodies that 
uh, the improv mindset of yes and. There's, I've never seen a challenge that he's not willing to undertake if it builds community and brings people together, especially if that's related to uh, honoring uh, our military members, their families, and our veterans. For my sister and I, growing up uh, with my dad was an adventure. He has a unique ability uh, to find joy in life. So no matter what challenges we were going through or facing, uh, if you ever asked him, how was your day today? He would always say, it was great, how was yours? My dad loves a good joke. He loves to make people laugh. Um, he loves to find the fun in life. So our, our life, I think, was always filled with a lot of fun. The other lesson that I think he taught Jennifer and I, whatever you give, you will get back 10 times in return. I think one of his values is loyalty. He's a, he's a very loyal and committed friend. And you know, he will, every day, he will reach out to his friends. Uh, he will call people, he will check in on people. If, if somebody, for any reason, is in the hospital, he'll be the first person at the hospital to be there to make sure that they're okay, to check in on their family. He's, yeah, he's a very dedicated and loyal friend. He's magnanimous. He's not, uh, he surrounds himself with good people, but at the end of the day, nobody works harder than George. Absolutely nobody. I think his values and his legacy are, are very tightly intertwined. So I think his values are, uh, have a strong work ethic, stand for something. You know, you can do anything you want in your life. I mean, he used to say to Jennifer and I, you know, you can be a ballerina, you can be a librarian, he, you could be a ditch digger, I think he actually said to me, but be the best at it. Whatever you do, get up every morning and, and give it 100%. Be passionate, make a difference in the world. When I think about George, he epitomizes those values that we identify. You know, friendliness, neighboriness, um, warm, and, warm and welcoming, uh, caring, a can-do attitude. So that leads to his entrepreneur, um, entrepreneurship and love of the land. And, and George epitomizes all of those qualities. In everything that he does, he is contributing to making his community and the world a better place. And uh, because of that, I really can't think of anybody more deserving of this and many other honors uh, than Mr. George Brooklyn. George's ability to bring people together and his personal involvement and contributions to several charitable efforts, including support of local military families by hosting Breakfast on the Bridge and his encouragement of remembrance as a director with the Field of Crosses is greatly valued. Congratulations, George, and well-deserved. Thank you.